It truly is Hockey Night in Canada here at Scotiabank Arena as the Calgary Flames face off against your red-hot Toronto Maple Leafs. Welcome to Live from Morning Skate presented by FanDuel. Scott Willits, Becky Keller, the gold medalist here as we get you ready for tonight's game against the Flames. Before we get into that, let's talk about these buds. When was the last time you could say this? 73 shots, no goals given in the last two games. Matt Murray, of course, on Tuesday against the Dallas Stars was absolutely phenomenal. And Ilya Samsonov said, whatever you can do, I can do better. <laughs> was an absolute beauty. Again, shutting out uh, on, on the LA Kings on Thursday night. This is a, a weird moment for Leaf fans, and I think everybody's kind of a little hesitant to get a little crazy, but this is the first time we have a true 1A, 1B combination. You're looking at two goaltenders with elite numbers yeah. right now, and it's it's been pretty oppressive. And so I think as a, a Leaf fan, part of the Leafs team, you're feeling pretty confident yep. that if one guy's not going, you can go to the other one because they both have looked very impressive right now. Confident, out, big, strong. Um, you know, the team's playing confidently in front of them. And I think part of what we're seeing is the D are playing so well in front of the goalies, making yep. their jobs a little bit easier. True. The forwards are coming back, putting pressure from behind, making the D job a little bit easier. And so you're seeing sort of this total team effort in front of two goaltenders who are playing outstanding. You know what's awesome? It, it, it both looks like they both not want to be the number one. They both want the crease, but they also seem like they have a really good kind of connection that knowing that, hey, listen, if you're down, I got you and I'll pick you up. So it's great to see. Uh, Matt Murray, a lot of people say that athletes block out what they hear in the media. I have a weird feeling that Matt Murray wanted to prove the media wrong when people said that he's injury prone. I think that he is proven right now as he gets the crease and he gets the uh, start tonight that he wants to let everybody know that he's here and he's not going anywhere and he wants to prove that he can be that true number one. It's interesting yeah. the mental makeup of any athlete and some of them may want to block out what they read. Some of them or read or hear. Some of them may want to use it as fuel and you're right. You do get that sense from Matt Murray that he has taken what has been said about him past performances and injuries and he wants to prove the media wrong and and you can see it in the confidence that he brings when he's in front of the media and you can see it in the confidence he brings when he's in the crease uh, okay so i got really nervous becky uh we did gate five live as we always do right here at scotia bank arena before the game and you know they always say the commentators curse and i said the only thing better than 20 points is 21 points in a row and as soon as i said that everybody in scotia bank arena kind of gasped scotty don't <laughs> jinx it but of course another day another game another point for mitch Marner. We always we always know him as an assist man. However, we show he showed that his shot is just as elite as his passing. Well, and how often do you get the opportunity to walk in and take a clapper from the high <laughs> slot? This was a great shift, and it starts with him right here below the goal line. He's down in the seat <laughs> of his pants. He still makes a saucer pass to the slot. That's the one I wanted to see go in. John Tavares <laughs> just missing that corner. But, you know, he stays with it, stays with it, and eventually gets that puck back and is able to walk right in. Kind of old school, like, I'll just hammer this home and put a little power behind it. Not a guy known for the strength of his shot, but that shot had Absolutely. on it. Absolutely. He's going to be fun. Uh, it, 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 I remember back in London, he would take a bunch of clappers all the time, and that was that was the one thing about him that I said he needs to shoot more. And if he has a shot like that, why why keep it on the deck, buddy? Use it <laughs> use it when you got it. Um, let's also talk about a guy that I thought might get lost in the shuffle. Coach Keith, as we've mentioned on the show many times, likes to juggle the lines, and I thought that perhaps Michael Button might get lost in this. You know, he loved playing on that line with Mitch Marner and Austin Matthews last year. He was absolutely phenomenal, as you can see him on the ice right there. Um, however, he's been sent down to the fourth, he's done some time in the second, not really that much time, third, and then back on the first. However, don't look now, seven-game point streak. Looks like Michael Button's catching his fine form. He was a guy earlier on that just didn't, couldn't seem to find his footing. He was trying to get back to the form that he was in last year, but I think he's found it now. And what we yeah. notice about him is that he's at his best when he is an absolute pest on the ice, when he's down forechecking, yeah. digging out pucks, when he's yapping in somebody yeah, Exactly. I like those 50 else's. assists. Though, but yeah, yeah, when yeah. he's yapping is when he's the best. You're right, you're right. Yeah, and we saw that last night. He gets in somebody's ear, and it seems to get him going. And, yeah, 15 assists. Like, he's got his game back to what we saw from him last season. He always feels like when he's in game, is when it's the best Michael Bunton, and that's a true Scarborough boy in the finest form. Um, the depth of the middle, I mean, the game started off a little like, it was a little lopsided. We did have the better 
of the play. William Nylander had four, four chances. I thought I was going to win that fan <laughs> duel first goal. But, um, Does yeah, it count he, third goal? Yeah, third goal. I know. It's just two goals <laughs> too late. Uh, we'll get into that in just a second. But the second period showed the depth up front. Just a flurry. And David Kampf, Pierre Engvall, who will be out for tonight's game, he's suspended. But you can see Zach has the Reese, Alex Kerfoot, Pontus Holmberg. They all just look like solid NHL-ready players. Well, it was a four-line performance. Yeah, it was. Absolutely, last game. And, hey, how about Engvall getting a power play goal? Didn't even know we had a second unit, <laughs> but there he is putting one in. I like that. You know, and, and David Camp joining in. Those those were the first two goals. Unfortunately, you or I did not take either of those guys. But, yeah, solid four-line performance, 60. Everyone was rolling last game. Uh, it was a tough interference call, and uh, our, our hearts go out to Nick Robertson. It, was, it sucks because he seemed like he was just getting going. He's out with an injury right now. We don't know uh, possibly his uh, return back to the lineup. However, that means that Joey Anderson gets called up and uh, also that Wayne Simmons will be in the building as you see him out there right there. I talked to Wayne earlier this morning. He says he's ready to go. I have a weird feeling he might be dropping the mitts tonight. A little uh, Wayne Simmons, Lucic matchup yeah, could be yeah. kind of fun. And yeah. you know, you get Joey Anderson in the lineup. His brother was just in town with LA uh, the other night. So, and he's second leading scorer on the Marlies. He can put pucks in the net, and he's actually one goal away from the all-time shorthanded goal record for the Marlies. So that's maybe, pretty crazy. Yeah, maybe a guy you might see on the penalty kill as well. Which brings us to our fan duel first goal of the game. Becky, you got to get off the snide <laughs> here. <laughs> I, okay. I actually really thought that William Melander. I, I thought I had it, but uh, again, we go over for our last one but tonight who do you think is going to uh, hit the 20 all right so I took Mitch Marner I haven't wanted to even say his name during this point streak I'm like you I'm a little superstitious all former pre present yeah. hockey players yep. tend to be but I'm gonna take him tonight now I went to a new source for a little help okay, I, I was going to my kids and they were not really I fired them they weren't doing well at all so I went to the magic eight ball will Mitch Marner <laughs> score the first goal it said absolutely so I'm going Mitch Marner tonight. Uh, as David Putty says, when in doubt, <laughs> that's the eight ball. I absolutely love it. I'm going with Michael Bunting because he's playing the best hockey uh, so far this season uh, right now. Um, he seems like he's just fiery. He, he, he sees that everybody is contributing, and I know that he's sitting there going, I need to get off the snide here. Uh, as we mentioned, 15 assists. He, needs, he, he wants more goals. You know that. I can see that. So Michael Bunting is my pick tonight. As we transition into the Calgary Flames, man, you want to talk about an off season? I gotta give sh massive credit to Jim Triv Living. Like there is a time where it looked like he was going to get fired out of Calgary, let alone turn this team around. Of course, Jonathan Huberdeau, Nazem Kadri, the Stanley Cup winner, two massive uh, um, people that have joined the club after, of course, losing Johnny Gaudreau and Matthew Kachuk. What are you uh, expecting to see, Calgary? A team that started hot, then had a brutal slump, and now is playing kind of that 500 hockey. Well, they lost, that was a big loss into Chuck and Goudreau. And, you know, that line with Lindholm was arguably yep. the best line in hockey last year. It looked like they had them replaced with Kadri and Huberto. They haven't performed exactly the way Calgary had hoped, but you know that's always in there. Huberto, 115 points yeah. uh, in Florida last year. Now, he's only on track right now to get 55 points, but you got to think again that that's going to turn around at some point. It's like the ticking time bomb, right, in reverse. Yeah. You know you know, things haven't been going well, but when when are they going to break out? He hasn't quite hit his fine form and the, the MVP kind of form that he we know that Jonathan Huberto could do. Of course, a guy that would definitely be on Team Canada's roster. However, there is the elephant in the room, and I have a weird feeling that Nazem Kadri is going to have a game tonight. Yeah, I think he's going to enjoy his return back to Toronto yep. wearing a Calgary Flames uniform. And we've, saw, we've seen enough of him. He can be a pest as well, but he can score goals. Yep. And so a guy that he came out of the gates really strong with Calgary. He's had a bit of a lull. Uh, but, yeah, I would expect that he's going to be ready and on fire tonight. As we're showing you, the, just the strength that they have. Lindholm, of course, up the middle. Anderson. And a guy who's a Toronto boy, Tyler Toffoli, who I swear has scored every time in this building as a visiting member of an opposing team. So hopefully we keep Tyler Toffoli off the score sheet tonight. Just a quick uh, thing about special teams. Our penalty kill has been absolutely unbelievable. 80%, which is, uh, I think, eighth in the league. But in the last uh, 10 games, I believe, 13 games, we are actually second in the league in penalty kill. It feels like everybody is just taking what Sheldon Keith has to offer. It seems to be that same buy-in to team defense. We're seeing yep. it on the penalty kill as well. And the penalty kill comes down to some simple things. Straight line sk skating, staying in formation, blocking shots, right? outworking your opponent. And it seems like they have bought into that. You're right. They're doing all those things. This was a power play that was the number one power play in the league last year in Toronto. And they, we've seen a drop-off. So to be able to pick up the slack yeah. on your PK is pretty huge for a team. Hockey 
that in Canada, I'm telling you one thing, I'm not watching soccer anymore after <laughs> yesterday's performances. Jeez, good riddance. Uh, it's all about the hockey. For Becky Keller, I'm Scotty Willits, of course. Hockey Night in Canada, you can catch it on CBC and with Joe and Jim on the Fan 590. As always, go Leafs go.